three, two, one. Happy new preview, everyone. Want to know what's new in .NET MAUI preview 14? And if the next release is going to be the RC, the release candidate, check out this video. Now the .NET MAUI preview party hasn't started without our MC, David, who wrote a blog post about uh, the new preview, of course, as he always does. So preview 14 is now available in Visual Studio 2022, 17.2, preview two, that's a lot of twos. Um, this release includes a hefty volume of issue resolutions and completed features because we're focusing more and more on stability fixes and issues that we're going to fix, bug fixes, um, because as we are moving closer to GA, we're not gonna add new APIs anymore. We're just gonna focus on stability. In fact, if we reach GA, there is not gonna be any new APIs added any more. We just have to deal with what's inside of our APIs and add bug fixes and stability fixes to there. For preview 14, we did manage to sneak in a new menu bar because if you're working on desktop applications and with .NET Mau, we also have new focus on Mac OS windows on the desktop platforms, you still use those kind of boring menus here at the top, file, edit, name them all. Um, you can have these uh, menu items now also through your .NET MAUI application. So uh, we'll see about that in a little bit, in a minute. Uh, I'm going to live code a little bit to show you how to implement them. Um, you can do that, by the way, I'm going to show you in XAML, but you can also do it in C Sharp. Um, and you will have these nice cascading menus. You can do so by the menu bar items, menu bar item. I'm going to tell you all the things, but that is now possible with .NET MAUI as well. Um, so here's a list of all the other things. If you want to know all the things go check out the release notes. I'll put the link down in the video description. Um, but here we have device and essentials reconciliation. So um, in Xamarin Forms, we had the device class, which has a lot of information about screen sizes and, and, and some other things about your device, but essentials had that same information. So um, we decided to deprecate the device class with everything that comes with it and just use the essentials one because .NET MAUI essentials is now living together with .NET MAUI. So we can very easily um, use those APIs as well and we don't need all the device APIs anymore and deduplicate all of our code there. Now, here is a big one that probably a lot of people are going to be happy about. Xamarin Essentials did not have any interfaces. I think there was a community member who was maintaining a separate package to provide interfaces for all things Essentials. But now with .NET MAUI Essentials, because we have interfaces for everything already, we also now have interfaces for .NET MAUI Essentials. So the geolocation now has an iGeolocation, the file picker now has an iFile picker. So we have it all now. Inside of the package, we can deprecate that community package. It's just here for you to use. Shell WinUI, you have to go check out all the details here. There's a lot to talk about. Um, I just want to highlight this one, the native to platform renaming. Um, in an effort to make even our code base more inclusive, we're renaming all of the native references to platform. So everything that had native, uh, which has a little bit of a negative connotation for some people, we're renaming the word native to platform. So there's a lot of um, renaming going on here. The APIs will be exactly the same, just the name will be different so that we can, you know, if this even helps only one person to feel more welcome in our code base, then it's already been worth it. Um, you're gonna love it, you're gonna hate it, but you're gonna have to deal with it. So if you want to have some comments on this um, that are not very nice and supportive, then please keep them to yourself. Um, that is all there is to this renaming. Uh, we have now handlers for shapes. So shapes are um, um, inside of .NET MAUI um, as well. Strings, the web view cookies, the menu bar, we're going to see about that. And if you want to see all the details, I already mentioned that in the release notes. Now, um, here is the rest of the blog post goes about like how do we use essentials because it's kind of interesting, right? There is a whole new audience coming to .NET MAUI looking at it for the first time instead of coming from Xamarin or the Xamarin Forms background. And those people are asking like, how do I add a file picker or how do I check the connectivity of my app? Um, so those are very good questions and you can do all of that with Essentials. So David writes about how to do that in Essentials. We have all these APIs here, the accelerometer, uh, the clipboard, connectivity, display info, file picker, geocoding. Well, you can read it for yourself. All these wonderful APIs that you can use that don't necessarily have something to do with the UI, but um, are shared functionality across all the platforms and which make it very easy with a unified .NET API. Um, you can access them 
and do your thing with that. Now, luckily, I already have uh, recorded a lot of videos on Xamarin Essentials, and the good news is that those APIs didn't really change between Xamarin Essentials and .NET MAUI Essentials. Um, just the namespace changed, I think, for almost 100% of the cases. So go rewatch those videos if you're new to .NET MAUI and you want to know how to do all these things. I will link to the playlist um, at the end of the video, so make sure to stay tuned. David shows a little bit about a file picker um, and all the connectivity here, and then he goes about like, get started today. Um, that's like the dance that we always do, right? I would recommend just try to upgrade. If it doesn't really work out, delete everything then um, and reinstall the whole thing. That's kind of like what we've been saying for a couple of blog posts. You want to reinstall the whole thing, but you can always try to upgrade, right? And then see how it goes. Now, if you're going from uh, preview 13 to 14, I already highlighted this in the previous video. Um, then you also want to check out the migration guide that's on github.com slash .net slash Maui slash wiki there is migrations for all the versions and now also for going to preview 14 a note about shell if you want to use the constructor injection you will need to register it with your dependency injection um, the renames like i already said native to platform and os app theme is now regular app theme um, and rectangle is gone to rect so there's a couple of things um, that you need to be aware of if you're going to look at this new preview 14. Now, without further ado, let's switch over to Visual Studio 2022 and see about that menu bar and essentials and basically all the things that I want to highlight. So here we are in Visual Studio 2022. I think the specific version is 17.2 Preview 2, uh, which is linked to .NET MAUI Preview 4. So all the um, .NET MAUI versions are linked to a Visual Studio version because it's now provided together with Visual Studio as a workload. Um, so that should be the version that you have. And uh, whenever you do a file new .NET MAUI application, this is the template that you will end up with. I think in this preview, there has been no tweaks to um, the template yet. Uh, there is a nice surprise for the next preview or release candidate to um, the template. So we will talk about that then, a little cliffhanger here. Um, but for now, there are really other cool things that are implemented. So maybe you want to focus on desktop apps, which is definitely something you can do with .NET MAUI now as well for Windows or Mac OS. And because of that, we've added this new APIs to work with like the menu bar items. So that are basically the items that you can see here also in Visual Studio. File, Edit, View, Git, Project. You can now create a menu like this as well for Windows and Mac OS specifically. So for Windows, it's going to show up like at the top here and it's tied to your window. And for Mac OS, it's like always at the top of your um, screen, right? So that's how it works on Mac OS. And because Don and Maui translates everything to how it should look and feel on that platform, that's also the way how it's going to be shown. So let's see how to actually implement that. So here, in our content page. You can do this on any page, I think. Um, you tr kind of have to figure out like what is the, 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 the scenario for your architecture, how you want to make this work. Um, because, you know, the menu is something that is kind of like um, overall in your application usually. So you might want to have a base page where this is in. Um, but what you can now do is say um, content page dot menu bar items. And inside of those menu bar items, we're going to do the top level one. So file added like the ones that you can see um, right away, right? So uh, here we're going to say menu bar item. And I can say not title, it's going to say text. Um, and that's the text that I want to have here. So it can be filed, can be edited, it can be all the things, right? And inside of those, I want to have these options that you can see here. So file, new, open, close, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so you can add those options with a menu flyout item. So um, we can do that as well. And we can also give that a text and some other things, of course. Um, so let's say do something. Um, I'm not going to do something very complex here. And you can see that it has a clicked handler. So we can just do the event. Um, actually, let's just do that new event handler. But you can also work with it with data binding, right? It also has the command right here. So you can also do your MVVM stuff and bind a command to that. So we now have this event. Let's go to the main page.xaml.cs, the code behind, and let's just do something trivial like a display alert. And what do we want to show in the alert? Um, hello from the menu item. Maybe you hello from the menu item. I'm distracting myself here with Adele. That's nice. And maybe something like have you subscribed to my channel yet? That's that's a nice idea, something to do. 
and the button is going to say yes i did subscribe um, so that might be a nice reminder now if i build this then uh, we're going to see the windows and we're going to see the window and we're going to see absolutely nothing where the menu is supposed to be um, and that is on purpose as you might have already guessed because i say it with confidence <laughs> um, but you don't see it show up here and um, that is because it only works with a navigation page right now, or at least let me say, whenever your page is wrapped in a navigation page or whenever you're working with shell, um, so down in Maui shell, whenever you start a shell application, a shell template, it will show up as well. So what we can do is easy fix. Um, we can go to the app.example.cs. So here in our solution explorer, let's go to our app.example.cs. And here we set the main page and we're going to wrap this in a new navigation page. And that is how we make the menu show up. So if I now do it again, um, then we have this navigation page, which is nine, nine out of 10 times what you want anyway, because you want to have some way of navigating, right? Uh, so we have this navigation page and now you can see we have this file menu here and inside of that file we have do something and whenever i click that we get hello from the menu item have you subscribed to my channel yet and of course the only answer is yes so that is how you can implement your menu item of course there is one other variation that i will quickly want to show you and basically then there's you know all there is to know about these uh, menu apis is we have the sub item right so we can also do a menu uh, flyout sub item uh, which you can also give a text and then you can say um um, this first, I don't know, do something, and then this first, and then inside of that, you can have that menu flyout item, right? So this is the way where you can have kind of like these sub menus, like also here in Visual Studio, you have file and new, and then you have a couple of options, right? So you can build this whole uh, menu structure. So whenever I do this now, we should have this, um, this first, and then it will pop out with do something, right? So we will have this, this first, and do something. So you can build that whole structure with the menu items here. Now, the other thing that I quickly wanted to highlight here, um, there was a lot of wonderful things. We've seen that in the blog post. Um, go explore that for yourself. But the other thing that I wanted to highlight is the um, interfaces for Xamarin Essentials right? Because um, if you have been working with Xamarin Essentials, and I had to say done at Maui Essentials just now, Xamarin Essentials has never had interfaces. I think there was a package by someone in the community who provided interfaces for um, um, Xamarin Essentials so that you could use it for testing, right? For unit testing, whenever you uh, wanted to mock one of the services there, um, then you needed that interface. But Xamarin Essentials didn't provide it itself um, because, you know, the people who were behind it didn't really believe even the interfaces and uh, dependency injection and that kind of stuff. So, but now um, we are doing dependency injection. You've heard me talking about it a lot of times and I've got uh, beautiful videos on it already. So check the top right corner of your screen if you don't know what it is. Um, but now we have the interfaces built in. So if we go look here at some code and um, um, we're gonna say, look uh, with the IntelliSense, like what is a service of essentials? So the geo locator, right? Geo location. Um, that's one. And we can do all kinds of things here, get last known location, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. But now we also have the I geolocation. See, so we have this interface. And if we go explore what is in here, then you can see um, this describes the exact API of the I geolocation. And if I go to the actual geolocation APIs, we can see now that this actually implements it. Well, we don't see that here. Um, we don't see that here for some reason, but you know, um, it actually does implement it. So um, the interfaces are now here. You can use that for registering it in your dependency container. If that's what you want, you can use it for unit testing. So you can mock out these services. You can do all these kinds of crazy things. Um, also, as we've just seen in David's blog post, apparently there's a lot of people who are new to Don and Maui and all of this stuff and new to essentials um, who didn't know about Xamarin maybe. So who were asking like, hey, how do I access it? The, the geolocation, the GPS, how do I do a file picker? Now, David already did a great um, job in his blog post about describing like the basics, like how do I do that? There's a lot of APIs in Essentials and you can just do microsoft.maui.essentials and you can explore them all here. So you can see what it is. And of course, we are working on the documentation, the docs, um, but you can already Google like um, examine.essentials um, and then you will get all the things that are in there. And the beauty is none 
none of the APIs, well, almost none of the APIs of Essentials have changed. So you can just replace Xamarin Essentials with Microsoft.maui.essentials and all the rest just works. So um, go check that out. There's a lot of APIs that don't necessarily use anything in the UI, um, but you can do a lot of things with that already. It's really, really powerful. So um, go check that out. And now you're basically updated with the most important bits of Dot and Maui Preview 14. So even for this preview, that is a little bit later, like in later stages, we're reaching GA almost. Woo! Um, we're, you know, at least getting closer. So this is still a nice big API that came in, right? But if we are going to maybe fantasize a little bit about the near future, then the next release has been hinted that that will be the release candidate. And that basically means that we're really getting close to uh, GA, right? General availability. Um, and that also means that the APIs have to be finalized now. So all the public APIs uh, will be finalized. And then from here on out, it's only going to be bug fixes, stability fixes, that kind of things. Um, I'm not really sure if the next one is for sure going to be the release candidate, but um, you know, we're getting close to Q2 2022, uh, which has been the release date timeframe for a while now for .NET MAUI. So I think it's safe to say that um, one of these days we can expect the RC, the release candidate. Thank you so much for watching again one of my videos. Please click the like button. So so more people can learn about .NET MAUI and all the cool things that are in there. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already so you will never miss a video on .NET MAUI, .NET MAUI Blazor, and all the other good bits that are here. So they will show up on your feed automatically. Now, if you want to learn more about Xamarin Essentials, that you can also apply to .NET MAUI Essentials. Check out this playlist right here with almost all the APIs that are in here. If you want to learn about .NET MAUI in general, check out this playlist. And maybe you want to make really sure that you're subscribed, then check out this button. See you for the next video.